I just had a dream about alligators, though. Oh. It was really scary. Did you look up what it means? I did. It's, they um... Like they do. Don't... Yes, I fed them marshmallows. They like marshmallows? They like marshmallows? They do, yeah. So for people who aren't familiar with Cloak and Dagger, tell people about your characters. Well, I play Evita Fusile, and Evita dates Ty in the show, and she really pulls him out of his shell. Ty is a bit of an introvert. He's closed off, you know, he's had a lot of things happen to him, so he's guarded. And he lets her in. So I think their relationship is really special, and he lets her in because I feel like she's proven to be trusted. You know what I mean? And she really offers a lot. She really assists him and guides him along his way. Um, and I play Liam Walsh, and he is Tandy's partner in crime at the beginning of the show. Um, uh, Liam will lure people in, or Liam allows Tandy to come into the club where he works so that she can sort of con people. Um, and uh, so they're thieves. And between them, Liam just genuinely really loves Tandy. And I think that he hopes that in their dire circumstances that they're in, the connection that they have with each other uh, is something that's going to be able to maybe hopefully help them move on to greener pastures or um, just be something that's going to make their lives feel really solid in those really just kind of difficult places that they're in. Now, I know that um, Evita does say something that's definitely a Marvel nod. She says, true believers when she's giving a tour. So are there any other little Marvel things that we should be looking out for? That we can say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to tell me secrets, that's totally fine, too. Really? I don't, How much I don't think there was a price. <laughs> Everything has a price. No. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot, a lot to look forward to. Just keep watching, keep watching. So you guys are filming in New Orleans, which is an amazing city. So what was it like? What did you guys do while you were down there? Um, uh, one of the first things that we did like as a whole team was we did a ghost tour, which was really cool. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was really cool. There, I mean, it's just interesting that that place has so many different cultures that are influencing it, and it is so specific to what it is. There's not really any place like it in the world or in the country, you know what I mean? And so just being there and just kind of experiencing the French Quarter, which can feel like Vegas at times, and then at other times it a feels like you're, Vegas. yeah, or, yeah, right. And then at other times, you walk down a different street and you feel like you're in, I don't know, like somewhere in in like Barcelona maybe or something like that. It's just a super interesting place to to live and, and to be. Yeah, it was great being there for me. I'm from New Orleans, born yeah. and raised. So yeah, so going home was great for just so many different reasons and being a part of a project that not only shoots in New Orleans but is based there was amazing and I trusted, I trusted the team, I trust the writers and they just did a really great job um, depicting the city, honestly, so that was great being home, having grandma's food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, did everyone get grandma's food? I didn't get grandma's Everyone food. didn't up? get grandma's oh, no. food. Maybe season two. Okay. Maybe season two. two. Yeah. Right. She'll have to make a Costco run. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you guys think um, is the thing that's going to pull viewers in to Cloak and Dagger? I think it's, honestly, I know this sounds super simple, but it is just a really good story. It's really dynamic. It's very surprising. It's very grounded. Um, and it deals with a lot of issues that are very real obviously from a social standpoint, um, but also just particularly what Tandy and Tyrone are dealing with as far as, I mean, you have Tandy who has basically had all of her hopes taken away from her, and Tyrone who is inundated with all this fear, whether it's from uh, all the things that he's gone through, but also from his his parents and just the situation that he's in, like don't, you know, whatever. Um, I just think a lot of kids probably can relate to that, and so hopefully that will speak to yeah. people who watch it. It's know? extremely relatable, and we touch on so much. There's anxiety, there's depression, there's generational curses, there's interracial relations, police brutality. Like, we just touch on so much that needs to be a conversation, and conversation influences change, and that's the ultimate goal.